Hi, I'm Ishan reporting for Kits First. Let's talk about A Haunting in Venice. While A Haunting in Venice is a significant departure from its roots as an Agatha Christie novel, its clever writing, superb set design and cinematography, and Kenneth Branagh's skillful acting make it a relentlessly intriguing, vivid film for lovers of mystery, history, and intrigue. In 1947, the Belgian detective Hercule Poirot, played by Kenneth Branagh, is in retirement in Venice. And when visited by his American authorist friend Ariadne Oliver, played by Tina Fey, he is pulled into a mystery at the Palazzo, a former orphanage haunted by children's spirits. Oliver invites Poirot to a seance held by opera singer Rowena Drake, played by Kelly Riley, who's mourning the death of her daughter, Alicia. Poirot must get to the bottom of whether Joyce Reynolds, played by Michelle Yeoh, who is a medium who means to summon Alicia's spirit during the seance, is legit or not. What ensues is a creepy series of, perhaps fortunate, events. The plot is interesting, but the solution to the mystery is not particularly unique, though it is unveiled with a lovely, dramatic monologue by Branagh. The setting of the story in post-World War II Venice is most striking. Some characters suffer from PTSD, and even Joyce Reynolds was a nurse during the war. Everyone has some kind of mourning that they're going through. The story revels in the richness of its visuals, unique setting, and in its talkative script. Kenneth Branagh not only headlines, but also directs the film. Branagh, cinematographer Harris Zambarlukos, and production designer John Paul Kelly are a dream team. They beautifully capture one of the world's most striking cities, interspersing the action which takes place in the dark, ornate palazzo, with classic scenic shots of gondolas and canals at sunset. The classic horror movie effects like scurrying rats, falling chandeliers, and banging doors are not overdone, though they are somewhat cliched. Branagh hams up Poirot's Belgian-French accent, and he truly seems to be loving his role like he does in all of the films. Tina Fey shines as the sharp-tongued American, the authoress with a suspicious motive. She balances out Poirot's gloominess with some humor and an almost campy demeanor. This, along with other elements in the film, means that A Haunting in Venice is both a horror and a whodunit, a perfect film for Halloween, the spooky season, or any time. A Haunting in Venice touches on all kinds of themes, religion, the supernatural, and belief in good over evil. Poirot repeats time and again that his job, dealing with cruelty, vice, death, and depravity, means that he simply cannot believe that God exists. He lives instead on cold, absolute rationality. This mystery doesn't exactly make him change his mind, but he does end with the belief that he as a detective can do some good in this world, and he decides to emerge from retirement for this reason. There's optimism and light even in this dark tale. Parents should be aware that A Haunting in Venice contains mentions of suicide, death, murder, and violence. I give A Haunting in Venice 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 12 to 18 plus adults. A Haunting in Venice debuts on digital retailers and Hulu on October 31st, 2023, and arrives on Blu-ray and DVD on November 28th, 2023, so definitely go and check it out. All right, folks, that's it for me. This is Ishan from Kids First, signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. All right, sayonara. You have been hiding here all this time. Who are you talking to? <laughs>